All right, I just want to get a testimonial from uh, from you. What's your name, please? Lindsay. Lindsay, okay, and? I'm LaTorrance. Torrance, my husband and wife, Lindsay and, and, and LaTorrance. Okay, I'm just doing this because I'm, I'm one of those uh, ministers that gets out and helps folks, and God is leading me and guiding me. And my wife knows that uh, we were getting ready to leave uh, Dollar General. And uh, I told him I felt led to talk to this lady. I said, but she's behind the register and everything. I don't want to mess up, mess that up. So I got out and got in the car. I put it in reverse, got ready to go. And I said, I should talk to her so it won't be on my conscience in case something happens. So what happened was you came out. And when you came out, I said, oh, there it is. I got to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk to her. But when we were, came, when we came around to the side where you were, boy, you were, you were boo-hooing and bawling. What was going yes. on at that time? Um, I just got off the phone with my husband, who is now right here, and uh, we're just working out life, so I was very yeah. upset, and just dealing with a lot of stuff, so I walked out. Uh, you were uh, under a lot of pressure, so running yeah. into us at that time, what did it do for you? Uh, it was a breath of fresh air, it was like, oh, okay, so, you know what I'm saying, I was just very happy that they showed up. Okay, so just basically, we took the time to talk to you. My wife talked to you, and it made you feel like what? What? How'd you feel afterwards? I felt much better. Oh, you 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 was in bad shape, yeah, girl. Yeah, I was having a hyper attack, like couldn't breathe. But um, you like you ready to ice somebody? Yeah, and y'all said they sat talking to me for a long time, so it was just a blessing to me. All right, and you was concerned about your husband. Now, now, I, I felt led. You said you, he was gonna get out like in July or something like that. I no, told my, in June, yeah, so that was about a month ago when I met y'all. And I told my wife, I said, I felt late to call uh, uh, Lindsay. And so when I called, I knew why then. I, the brother here answered the phone. Man, you did you hear my message last, did you hear my message last, uh, last week? Yes, yes. Was, did you like it? It was fantastic. What man. you think about it, man? Uplifting, man. Where, where I was just at, we, we talk about those things and to get out and see someone doing it. That, that that's that's that gives us motivation. That that inspires guys like me. Mm -hmm. You know, because we the everyday people. Right. You right. know, and without us, nothing can get built. Basically. Right. You know, so I'm trying to build my foundation. And uh huh. Thanks for y'all interaction. Y'all met up. You know, it, it calmed her spirit. Uh huh. Yeah. We we'll back. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm blessed to have that. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. To build us as best way I can. It's it's rough. It's yeah. rough. Nowadays, I mean, I, I talked to a lot of folks, man, and uh, like I said, I talked to somebody the other day. Grandma called me because the granddaughter, who's a little sexy gal in her 20s, got out the car at 12, 30, and then some guys iced them with AK-47s. See, we, we something happening with us, man. We got we, we to gotta come on a different page because you don't hear that in the white communities, and there's a reason for it. So... Hey, brother, tell me something all we live. What we need to do, man? What we need to do? We, we got to pull together. Okay. You know, and it, a lot of it starts with self. Okay. You know, we got to work ourselves from inside out. Okay. Once we build ourselves, get ourselves together, get our families on the same page, mm -hmm. then as our families moving together, we can help other families, other people, mm -hmm. anyone that's in need. And right. then we can start growing together. This is the community, the village, you I, know? How you feel? How you feel? How do y'all feel about the preachers that just sit back and just take up offerings and you don't never see them and they will talk, they talk funny, walk funny. I mean, what's up? What you think about that? And that's one of the main reasons I do not attend, like, have a church family now. Well, now I do, but you know, because of that reason, too much judgment and honestly, you just feel uncomfortable. It's like, well, I'm gonna come here. You know, I could pray in my own house and do my right. investigation. So right, right. What about you, LaTorrance? What but you think, man? I feel like it's scripted. You know, okay. everybody just going by the pages of the books of what they was taught. Right. You know, to get by, to move up, to get forward, to don't worry about the next people. Mm -hmm. right? Greed. Right. You know, America dream has become America's greed. Right. Right. You know, and people don't pay it that much attention to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's moving around, just bypassing. Why you think, let me jump up. Why you think it's just it's mainly us, people of color, who's feeling the penitentiary, 
and who's being victim of all of this stuff? Why do you think it's just us? Because that's how the government wanted it. The government wanted it that way. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. United States of America? Yeah. What you think, LaTorrance? What's happening, man? That, that's right on spot because we got people like George John, George Jackson. Yeah. That, that, that's being ice. You know, George, George Floyd. George Floyd. Okay. You know, that, that that's another person. Yeah. You know, but we've been going through this for decades after decades after de- generations. Right. You know, and the only places they can put us is in prison or, or help our, us kill each other. You think, we, you think we've been too weak as a people? Yes. It's time for us to get what? Get down with it? We got to get in tune. Yeah. Uh, our, our spirit more than anything. Yeah. So, because uh, a lot of people moving around with our conscience. Right. Right. Not thinking we people need to change. Okay. From what I see, because I I don't like how they we looking. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you, a lot of ways. Do you think you think you think I'm talking too radical? You heard my message Sunday. You think I'm too radical, or am I no, right on no, it? No, you're right on. You talking about what's going on? Okay. You 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 down here in the trenches seeing what's going on. Right. Oh, and what's going on is exactly what's been getting aired and not being getting aired. Right. So the stories that people hear are the are are the tales. Those those are real. Right. So can, ain't nobody trying to make up and take their time to oh this will happen. No, this is really what's going on. Okay. So this is what we feel and this is how we need to move forward and. It starts with healing. Okay. All right. What do you think about atonement? You know, I, I think I think that uh, what happens is the government sets up, you know, hatred. They do it in other countries. They make other countries hate one another. Then they supply them with guns and weapons and airplanes so they can make sure they can kill each other. What do you think about uh, us as a people? Do you think that we need to uh, just... Come out of the old way of thinking and totally start thinking different without thinking about religion, without thinking about politics, just thinking about survival. Is that better? That's what they should be thinking about. But all I see a majority of our people thinking about is who got better this, who got the most this, who got, you know, like, right. it's just like, come on, Jordan's all that. Like, that's like a racial stereotype, but that's still what... I mean, a lot of us make it about that, and that's it. All right, give me a word for the young for the for the young mo- young women that's having issues. What do you think? What would you say to young women? Well, for one, every young woman needs to be more better parents. Okay, you know I got that. And then put your money somewhere else. Not like into like so materialistic and into everything like eyelashes, weaves, whatever the heck. Like I'm just saying, that's some. That's I got a problem with that. Okay. I really yeah, do well. because it's just like no mindset of nothing. You know what I mean? Oh, we get these little checks for stimulus. How much you would bet? Half nobody got none left. Spent it on materialistic shit that they cannot use right in the future. Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's that's it. dumb spending. Yeah, dumb <laughs> spending. All right, but you say be a good mother. Yes. All right. What about you, Latorrance? What you think, man? What's up? What hmm. do they need to do? Well, I know they need our support. Who? They who? The women. The women, okay. Our women. Okay. You know, because without them, our strongholds wouldn't be nothing. Right, <laughs> you right, know, right. I say just build. Right. You know, build on, on, on the education of our, our next generations because they, they are our future. Okay. So, so our wealth, our economic, everything needs to go into them. You know, there's a lot of stuff getting built without us. But you ain't kidding. You got that straight. Let me ask you something. Y'all intend to listen to some more of my calls, oh, yeah. some more of my messages? Most definitely. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate both of y'all, okay? Any last things you want to say to people that hear this? Well, love and peace love. at all times. Love and peace at all times. What about you? No. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. All right, okay. Love and peace. Love and peace twice. <laughs> hey, where's the great little baby at? Maybe we can find the little baby. <laughs> Leilani. Leilani. Get the little baby here so we can see why they holding the family together. Leilani. Let's go see if we can get the, get the baby. Here we come. She's trying to get away. Oh, uh, yeah, come on. We go ahead and get 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 that get that little sugar in there. 
And uh, this is the future right here. That's why we fight right there. That picture right there. How you doing, baby? That's it. That's it. That's what it's all about. A family. Hey, man, how about a hug with you and the wife? There we go. That don't mean y'all might not be battling tomorrow because we do it. But, say, we got to hang tight. All right. Take care, man. Thanks a lot. All right.